so picking up part two of those um, rather emotional readings of um, at Lords and block 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 and uh, back to Brits uh, Bre Brexit and uh, some memories of youth and uh, reaching back to what it means to be an Englishman, a Welshman, a Scotsman, and an Irishman. Now, whilst cricket is a great love of mine, um, as a Welshman myself, I was born in Wales. Um, rugby is a greater love of mine, and um, I've made and had many friendships um, playing that great sport um, the you know the brotherhood the camaraderie and the the discipline of training your body to take the the knocks and to go in again to win the ball, to give of your all and to make sure that you don't let the, the side down, let the team down. I wrote a poem which touched on, on these things um, and if you'll forgive me I will read a few uh, poems um, because in my own poetry, it comes from a personal place and a personal history. Um, and these themes which come out again and again in Brexit um, provoke in me a feeling of you're not going to take away my England, our England, my Wales, our Wales my Ireland, our Ireland, my Scotland and our Scotland. I've had the fortune to spend time in all of those wonderful places and respect and love the cultures of all of them and together as a, as a Briton um, who has lived aboard as a Briton with Her Majesty's Armed Forces, I have great respect and I understand what it is to salute a uniform, an office, and to accord the respect to institutions that have a virtuous care of the well-being of a nation and what it is to be a nation. And the same goes for my France, our France, my Sweden, our Sweden, my Italy, our Italy, and my Europe and our Europe. But that said, above, above all, it's, it's queen and country where I come from. Whether one is a Republican or a Royalist doesn't detract from that place of being and that camaraderie. It's no accident that uh, regiments are being merged and taken out from local um, ties and the same with police forces, this march to globalisation and this march to uh, undermining the roots and the belongings, the sense of place and the sense of community, um, the idea of there being no such thing as society. I reject that and I reject that absolutely. Um, the highfalutin intellectual arguments that go along with such discussions, the confusion of 
internationalism with globalism. So no, you won't take away my Thomas Paine, or my Edmund Burke, or my Spinoza, my Kant, my Epictetus, my Lucian. Yes, we, in our culture we have a strong debt to a culture born long ago in Greece, you know, through Rome, etc. And yet, as a Briton, I remain firmly tied to uh, the pagan past of Britain as an island. Um, and if you dig into history you've got to dig it all up you can't cherry pick there's been too much cherry picking but you can't cherry pick Team Britain our teammates at our line up Mr Juncker, Mr Verhofstadt we don't want any part in your federal Europe your unified European military, your globalisation and your undermining of our community structures. I want no part in that and that some people say the other half of the Brexit vote that you feel have signed up to that I wonder whether that is so. These questions are so complex you can't really put it into a binary yes or no question. Yet as long as love endures, love of place, love of family, love of community, love of culture, you will not take that away. I won't raise my stumps for you if you want to take my wicket you're gonna to have to learn to play the game but you won't win you will never win I wrote a poem uh, which touches on the matters of being bad loser and being overlooked and if I may I'll just read that now I wrote this uh, when Hillary Clinton was being a bad loser um, with President Trump. Overlooked and unelected. Neil McAllister. When I was nine, a lickspickle Beckenbauer, dreams of footy triumphs were mine. Commander of the middle of the field, creator of the long through ball, behind the front three tasks to sweep. On team selection day, unselected. My best friend was listed. Star centre forward. I went home to weep. I still love my friend and wanted my teammates to triumph. I mourned my own loss, but still cheered on and longed for my chance. Richard Green. When I was 12 and in big school, a team of 11 became 15, and the ball was a different shape. I was on the team. I found my game and dreamt of leadership. The team elected its new captain there. I was not their elected leader. My best friend was. I voted for my best friend and he voted for me. I loved my friend and served as his lieutenant. It was still hard to swallow. But I didn't cry. Radley College. We made the county final several years later. We were soundly beaten in the semis. Radley College against our comprehensive motley crew killed in the first half. Learned quickly and held a draw for the second half. The school turned out to see our brave defeat. We attended the final and Radley won. We were their biggest, heartiest and fiercest cheerleaders. They were the better side, for the first half at least, and we learned a lot from them. We celebrate their success, but look forward to our
our next meeting. Ashley Drake and Adam Chitel. There was a general knowledge competition, fifth year, full hormones and teenaged insecurities. I didn't enter and Adam still carried that condom, held it hoping to light a candle he carried for Gillian Jacobs. Ashley won, subject Welsh rugby history. You had to be in it to win it, I reasoned. Adam Ashley, two intellectuals, friends at school. Tony Gore didn't go to upper six. His family needed him to get a job. Nicola Evans. We moved away, West Germany, to Fudorf Dragons, reading cider with Rosie because I had a strange accent that amused Mr. Harris, head of sixth form. Nicola, who I married, thought I was the best actor she'd heard, and a rugby jock to boot. I was just being authentic, farmer boy, son of the soil. John Brunskill and Tiffany Wood, me and Nicola, copping off behind the gym curtain for extracurricular fumblings. Nicky and I are now divorced, but bound back to displaced times, apart but not estranged, different times different lives, human ships of thesis. ABC Tom and Commander Billingham. ABC now in the Philippines, his old best friend died young on a bike. Andrew, as he said he would, packed his ashes into a firework and let him off over the sea in Phuket. That's what he wanted. ABC was there for me when I needed him to. Tom was at the bank that repossessed my house. He found it as difficult to understand as I did. We are still friends. Commander Joseph Billingham, a mentor and a confidant. His father didn't care much for money either, just like me. Still, packed him off to Ampleforth, age three. It was his mother's idea, according to Joseph. The Band of Vikings. Rihanna, my daughter, isn't sure about Donald Trump. Rasmus, my son, thinks he's funny on Annoying Orange. Rhiannon assures me they do ADHD better in Sweden, and maybe that's why Rasmus sometimes misbehaves. They both say I'm the best dad in the world.